Hello, college football fans. My name is Terry James Taylor. This is the pregame edition for a game that a lot of Oklahoma fans have been looking forward to. Um, if there were games put on a chart of games that fans have been looking forward to, the opener, a home game against Notre Dame, and a road game at West Virginia. It's that time again. They're not the same West Virginia that we thought they would be. But they're still a good team. They want to get to a bowl game. And this one game can help them do that. With West Virginia only having five wins. Pre-game edition. Oklahoma, West Virginia. Coming up next. Only right here. Boomer Sooner 1982. <laughs> All right, later today on Big Fox, National Fox, the National Sports Fox Network will have the game, the call of the game for Big 12 games on the National Network. They go to Gus Johnson, Charles Davis, and Julie Alexandra, Alexander on Fox. Things to know about this game and it is that in Morgantown, West Virginia plays really well and has lost only two games. Even with all the heartbreak and all the tension that's been brought to them, only two home losses. They lost at home to number one Kansas State, which Oklahoma Sooner fans know how good they can be. And then the heartbreaker a couple of weeks ago to Texas Christian on a Gutsy two-point conversional call by Gary Patterson. So at home, they are very, very, very good. Uh, the last time these two teams played, of course, Sooner fans, West Virginia fans need to remember it well. When the Fiesta Bowl, Oklahoma, West Virginia just crushed Oklahoma 48-28. In the loss in this Fiesta Bowl. That would also be the biggest win in the rivalry. Biggest win for Stoops. Uh, overall, collectively. Could probably come down to beating number one Missouri. In 2008. In San Antonio for the Big 12 title. And my thoughts is that West Virginia... Well, they will be good again. The offense will score and score and score. And Joe DeForest, a former Big 12er, former, formerly of Oklahoma State, he knows how to uh, kind of manipulate and defend this defense. He's just got to teach his players how to do so. Uh, conference and divisional titles for both teams. West Virginia has them. Plenty of them, by the way. He got them in uh, 03, 04, 05, 07, 2010, and 2011, respectively, for the West Virginia Mountaineers. Oh, Oklahoma, of course, 2000, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2010. Uh, divisional, uh, big. those are the divisional championships, the Big 12 championships. Um West for or conference championship games. West Virginia doesn't have any at all. They don't play that type of football. There was never enough teams in the Big East. As far as Oklahoma, of course, in 2000, they beat Kansas State in Kansas City. 02, they beat Colorado in San Antonio. 
Oh four, they beat Colorado and Kansas City. Oh six, they beat Nebraska in Kansas City. Oh seven, they beat Missouri in Kansas or in St. Louis or, or in uh, San Antonio. Oh eight, they beat Missouri and Kansas City. In 2010, they beat Nebraska in the newly renovated Cowboys Stadium in Arlington. PCS record. Uh, West Virginia has Dana Holgerson. He's 1-0 in bowl games, BCS games. That was Virginia in his second year. His win came in a 70-33 victory over the Clemson Tigers last season in the Orange Bowl. Oklahoma, 7-6 in bowl games. Oklahoma has Bob Stoops as their head coach, obviously. 7-6 in their set of bowl wins in 13 years. Uh, last year, the Oklahoma Sooners fought off the Iowa Hawkeyes, 31-14, in the Insight Bowl. Injuries for both sides at Oklahoma, there's a plenty of them. Probable for playing are Adam Shedd out with a knee and Lane Johnson out with a leg. Out indefinitely, uh, Marshall Munsell out with a knee, Tyler Evans out with a knee, Tyler McNamara out with a shoulder, and then suspensions to Trey Franks, Quentin Hayes, and Jazz Reynolds, respectively. And then another probable player, Bronson Irwin, is uh, probable for this game against West Virginia. For regular West, for West Virginia, all three of these are bad injuries. They're season-ending injuries, like to Travis Bell, who's out with a shoulder, Jerome Snow, who's out with a sh shoulder, and Andy Williams, a defensive back, who's out with a net. Uh, the three goals for this team of Oklahoma. Offensively, Oklahoma has to get started, has to be quick to be ready. Seven points right out the gate. 14, 21. Don't ever stop. You just keep on attacking. On defense, West Virginia against West Virginia, you have to be careful because while you – Loves to score, and they love to throw the football. West Virginia has the ability to and loves to throw the football. So special, so defensively, Oklahoma's got to be ready. And the special teams, you just got to do what you know that you could do. Jimmy Stevens, from Jimmy Stevens to Tress Way to Michael Honeycutt. Honeycutt's pretty good on the kicking. Uh, Tress Way doing pretty good at the punting. Stay on that mark. Keep on doing what you do. If you do those things, Oklahoma should be ready for Bedlam next weekend. This has been the Oklahoma at West Virginia pregame show. The game will be in Morgantown on Fox with the call by Gus Johnson, Charles Davis, and Julie Alexander. This is Harry James Taylor. Thanks for watching Boomer Sooner 1982. And as always, Boomer Sooner, Sooner Nation.